I love making movies and I want to give a shout out to the deceased website Bamboozer from Sweden. I used to, I had thousands of movies on Bamboozer. It was amazing. I wonder if anybody downloaded any of them. I didn't get the notification they were closing. Uh, so I wanted to be movie and then I'm like, what should I talk about? I wanted to um, encapsulate some of my conversation with Northwest Senior and Disability Services, Shacey May. Um, about the concerns that um, the man who assaulted me is not the delivery driver. That's not a sufficient protection. Um, because he has access to addresses and databases. And at the point that the only salaried individual who is the director of Meals on Wheels has the services manager at Northwest Senior so worried, she's saying to me panicked on the phone, well, he's not, I, I can't have elderly people going hungry because they're basically scared of him because of this issue. And well, he's not delivering the meals. So, um, it was a tense conversation. I just hit her up with a bunch of emails and data. Basically got some really good data from uh, several people. So, um, what would I make my sh actual show, the show thing about, is, um, what does previous victimization have to do with this most recent victimization? Um, I mean, one thing that a lot of the women, you know, people against gender-based violence, people are discussing on Twitter is that uh, don't like announce, oh, hi, I'm a victim, DV, GBV, femicide, attempted femicide, or whatever. Don't advertise it because perverted, abusive, psychopathic attackers will be like, oh, oh, I'll take advantage of that. So, there's that. But then, once again, we go back to trust that Northwest Senior and Disability Services put their name on this ad. They provide health insurance and food stamps and social services for seniors and disabled people through Oregon DHS. And at that time, two years ago where I was like super naive about Oregon. I mean, how naive was I? I was naive enough. I, I don't even think it was naive. I, I'm trusting and I'm fearful and I walk into danger. I had a bad feeling about this guy so much so that I was like, hey George, can you come out? Because George doesn't like politics. Evidently this guy does, so I do, like crazy. So I'm just like, oh yeah, Brenda, you know, whatever, bring your friend, we'll, we'll watch the testimony of James Comey. And I get George there multiple times, and George is just like, oh, what a drag, he hates politics. Not completely, but he knows that I'm calling him there as security in case this guy hits on me, where he might just have been happy, you know, sleeping where he lived. And so George obliges, and that's awesome. But I shouldn't have to do that. And then, furthermore, having trash talked. Like, when George and I invite Chris Duffy to come to the TV party, that's not an invitation to hit on the hostess, trash talk her boyfriend, or, you know, predate and sexually attack, okay? Party manners, etiquette. Don't do it. Okay, so using the Northwest Senior and Disability Services logo. Okay, he's fresh from Detroit, but he's previously he lived in Astoria. Somebody, I don't remember who, maybe Brenda told me, oh yeah, he worked for the city government in Seaside a little, little bit, and that's how he got spotted. And when he started hitting on me about this herpes deal, I was like, well, how did you get that job? Because I'm thinking like, well, your background screening, you don't have any training on, like, being creepy. Did you get a creepiness one-on-one class? So, um, what I going to say about the previous victimizations is that, in a lot of ways, I had a great childhood. Great childhood. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, my mom's bleh, feisty. But it's not, a lot of bad things didn't happen to me as a kid. And by the time I finally had bad things happening, such as being kidnapped and raped and strangled, when I'm 25, was I prepared for that? Is anyone ever? Is anyone ever almost ready to die? Good question, right? So, other dangerous and abusive men, for instance, an ex on a mental health day trying to break my neck, okay? Okay, whatever Chris Duffy did, where he slammed me down almost forcefully enough to break my neck, what is it about men slamming women forcefully enough to break their necks? Is that a homicide attempt? Did Chris Duffy deliberately try to kill me? Or is the homicide like an existing, the femicide, an existing part of the male existence that they think of women as these things which they must destroy? It was frightening. So, what was different about the 2016 incident is I was standing in a kitchen, um, then Pickering grabs my arms and throws me to the ground as I'm saying, oh, this feels like a rape. I literally was like, what's going on? Because I, I had like a bowl of food. I was like cooked in stir fry. I was like fixing food because I like to eat a lot, like all the time. And as he's crushing and grinding me to break my neck, my neck swivels to like, look, how do I get out of this? Because I can't free my knee to kick him in the balls. And that's when my neck bones jam up. And I know my neck is going to break. And I was like, thought I would die and I was okay with my death, but I wasn't okay with being paralyzed. That's a lot of trouble. So that's when I screamed. Somehow my screaming reflex kicked in. And I think it startled him. And I was able to break free. Run to the window. Then he blocks the window and puts me in the headlock. But he, somehow, I was able to free him from the compulsion to kill me by saying, then go get your shoes. Go get your shoes. And he had a like a medical boot because his ankle had been stomped on by some bullies down the bar who were picking on him. And he thought I had something to do with them hurting him. I don't know who they were. He probably was just was smart or people like to beat him up because he was beautiful. <sighs> or kind of fay. So when Chris Stuffy does the slam down, he does it into a couch. So there's less of a trajectory of the um, how my body's being slammed, like a rag doll, like Jane's addiction, like Jane says she's leaving Sanchio, he treats her like a rag doll. I never heard that lyric until this summer. And I was like, oh, yeah, what is with that? Well, and this, I had a civilized father. My father never, 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 never laid a hand on me in violence. Not ever. Mom tried to get him to spank us. He would not. He just went like. He went. Made a big charade of it. He was mocking violence against children. My dad was super cool. So ultimately, what Chris Debbie did almost to, to break my neck, like make all my whiplash and all my neck bones hurt again, which they'd just been hurt the year before by Ben Pickering, who's out. He's out and free. He lives in Seaside. He could just go into the blood chisholm and ask to be the dishwasher. And two men who physically assaulted me could work together for Northwest Senior and Disability Services. I just figured it out. I was like, Oregon is forgiving. Oregon is like so tolerant. Like, okay, you molest children. Okay, you're into whatever. They would just barely give any probation for anything, even including almost killing a woman. <laughs> like, okay, Oregon. So maybe the way to look at it is like Dave's killer bread. This, you know, guy who got out of prison and made some really good bread. Maybe it's just like, okay, it's offender reentry. Okay, you didn't, you got up. 
got away with all this, you know, killing and raping Mary Ang, Chris Duffy, no big deal, because it's Oregon, it's Classic County. <laughs> Woo! So this is his latest thing he does this to the old lady. We already know he's physically pushed Sandra Womack, his elderly lady. She told on him in a hospital. And that's when the adult protection lady's getting agitated, like, dude, what's your problem? Like, he's got a problem with being violent to women. I want him to stop beating his girlfriend and don't touch her children, okay? And he just lost another volunteer. You can't take a risk with violence. So whatever Northwest Senior Disability Services decides, Chasey May and uh, Tanya DeHart. I was like, finally, I'm talking to someone intelligent. That was, and then, then I was like, oh, let's go back to DHS, which is technically a higher level of superior, you know, money. And then I'm like, oh, back to the idiots. And I'm like, no, no, let's find the women, because wherever the women are in the organization, there hopefully is some intelligence and an absence of, like, men's brains just, like, freeze. They can't think or process how important it is to have safety around the elderly, around women, volunteers, employees. There are a lot of things that are important about that. So here's another cool thing for this film is, um, so when I testified for grand jury for the Ben Pickering matter, um, I was given this like victims, whatever compensation thing, and they'll give you like free counseling, just like a coupon for free counseling. I'm like, whatever. So I eventually did, after Chris Duffy attacks me, I'm just like, can dudes just stop attacking me? Like, is this over yet? <laughs> No, I don't want your herpes. No, I don't like brunettes. I told you I had a boyfriend. I told you I'm gay. I told you I testify against violence. <laughs> I told you my grandpa was in the CIA. Like, what's your problem? <laughs> like, I love it that I can laugh about it now. And I think it's because I've been processing and healing. <laughs> so, for one thing, don't do this about anyone, okay? That's rude, Chris Duffy. Do not make fun of the old ladies at Mills on Wheels. And do not do it to a very uh, nice family. Don't mock the nice families of Seaside. I'm just so utterly and personally offended that he did that. Anyway, okay, I won't slip into snob mode. I'll try to de-escalate the snob. Um, God, Robert Dietrich, my Vietnam vet bodyguard, you don't need a bodyguard to go to Meals on Meals. Something is wrong with that picture. You say you're on thin ice, Chris Duffy? No, 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 no. The program's not on thin ice. You're on thin ice because you can't get a grip on reality. Own up to what you did, say you're sorry, and let the community know what the danger level is. Don't keep lashing out. Don't fire Rob Hidsty. Don't fire Steve Meredith. Don't make fun of Hitchman's mom. Don't assault Sandra Walmart. Don't kick Robert Dietrich out of Neil's office, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, and don't kick Mary Ann out either. I have a perfect right to be there if I'm attending with a senior, right? Oh, you don't want him to have his caregiver? Interesting. That's called disability discrimination. And like, Dietrich is looking at their like, Wow, this is just like when we came home from Vietnam. It's just like, they have no respect for what I just did for your freedoms. Oh man, I felt, I felt so much awe and strength. I saw him walking on the beach today, and I'm just like, pater familias. Oh my gosh. He loves the Vietnamese people. He said he was brainwashed. He feeds them. Never heard those words from the president, correct? Instead, you I was so proud that my country made a man big enough to stand up to the bullies of the Sunset Empire Park and Recreation District. I was so proud. 
that my country, my grandpa's service to this country, my mom's service to the VA, I was so proud that they made a man big enough to stand up to the bullets of the Park District, the Bob Chisholm Center, who are misusing the Northwest Senior and Disability Services. And you know, maybe they'll do better next time. I suggested to Skylar, well, maybe I'll come with Mary Blake. I think Mary Blake is getting worried. She has a problem with huge too. She almost blabbed it out, and then she realized, hmm. Mm. <laughs> well, then maybe we'll come with my mom. <laughs> maybe Chris Duffy wants to kick my 76 year old former nun mom. <laughs> I came out of her body. <laughs> You want to kick my mom? Because what? Because I, she's worried you might kill me? Because you got this problem with putting bruises on me? Slamming me down and rubbing your penis on me? And doing it... I, I, I broke it down to mom. I was just like, very simple. You go to get welfare, you should not be assaulted by people who distribute welfare. The Meals on Wheels is welfare. And food stamp benefits or the meal or the coffee. That's welfare. It's a social service that's supposed to help you succeed in your life. So the community center is in a sense socialism, quasi-socialism, American socialism. So it does seem that one is investigating the socialists. I mean, I really do respect the people who don't vote, who don't want food stamps, who don't want benefits, people that know that's just packed with crooks and creeps. Bricks and creeps, corruption. And you know, the thing that just really bugs me and bugs me and bugs me is I want the elderly to know that they deserve better. They don't deserve this psychological terror, this rumor, you know, fear, these pained looks. There's this lady, she looked at me right when they were doing the Halloween discrimination kick out at Meals on Wheels. Like Duffy's get it got his henchman Gooch harassing me and Diedrich and George. Carge. Carge. You know, like the beloved family from the radio. You know? Oh my god. What was my point? So here's another point. My therapist joined the community center board. So I'm getting this victim's compensation therapist for Ben trying to attack me. And I realize, oh, okay, Chris W. wants to attack me. I can get more victim's compensation. I'll just apply for that. So I get like awarded 15 to 30 sessions of hours of therapy. I'm just like, this is profitable. Maybe I should get assault. No, I'm kidding. Like, I'm just like, is that what it takes to get health care in America, is you have to be a crime victim? That is selfless offensive. So anyway, because um, evidently you can get LCSW, the, which is Licensed Clinical Social Worker. So I learned that from Julia Weinberg. So she's now on their board. And then I write, I write victim's compensation and the, the board certifying her kind of counselor. And I'm just like, what's up with this? I don't understand how she can try to work for the board that is busy blaming me for being assaulted. But then I'm like, the second she tells me, I see this glint in her eye, like, she's like, no, I'm gonna just go spy on them. And I'm like, you are an Aries on the Pisces cups. And, like, I think technically I could for her. I don't know if it's misconduct or conflict of interest or not, but I'm just like, how about this? Okay, because I'm boggles my mind for like a few months and you just keep talking it and it's not going well and I'm just like how about I let you enjoy your opportunity with the protest <laughs> don't let me and getting attacked by their meals on this director get in the way of your opportunity because she's a great person like she really wants to she's like it's not okay it's not okay I really like her, and I think I pissed her off because I suggested that these aggressive men's circumcision trauma. And then she's like, I'm Jewish. I'm just like, oh shit, I offended her. And, but I don't like him. Then I was like, well, can. Then I wanted to tell her, well, the reason I'm really against circumcision is because I have this really awesome Swedish boyfriend with this rocked foreskin. And I'm like, no, she doesn't want to hear about that either. 
And then I'm just like, oh god, I hope she just doesn't think I'm some kind of anti-Semite. For crying out loud. So this is from my neighbor, um, Jamie, and this was what I wore in to get kicked out of the mail sometimes. With a posh, a posh New Hampshire, a posh New Hampshire, um, Vietnam vet who just found, the, oh, this is, oh yes, the Aaron boys. He was like, they were so guilty. He was like, he was so guilty. He was, he was, not only was he peeing his pants, he was like, I think I saw something on the other side. I was like, really? And then he's like, I was like, you almost had me going there. And uh, he, went, he wanted to compose an affidavit immediately to send off to North Senior and Disability Services. And then the investigator was like, uh, over the phone, like, uh, and like, it was operational, it was operational, it was magnificent, and he's a Libra, and then I meet my next Libra on November 15th, mm -hmm. I'm just like, why are you like, what's that, um, that investigate, that old lady investigator British TV show, I love that show, um, <laughs> I was like, why are you just such a... And then one day she's like, oh yeah, my dad was a cop. I'm like, you think like a cop investigator? I just love you. And so I think she's just mad at me for not reading the Bible enough. So I gotta like go read more Bible and then call her, I don't know. But um, she's a wonderful person. She likes her a long time too. But uh, she really, 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 really upped my ante. Just believing a victim. Believe them can give them so much power to get on the phone and make all the calls and all the emails and the documents and the presentation to the city council. And then the mayor shook my hand on just like on Thanksgiving and I'm like, okay, he's not treating me like a pariah. I was sitting in almost the exact geographical location as when Chris Duffy's kicking me out and making this big fluster, you know, anti-social behavior thing. I'm like, yeah, then then people loved it. And uh, my forgiveness for him was instantaneous. But what I don't forgive is the system for permitting so much violence and deficit of care. That's what his case was about. And this is really a deficit of care and concern too, because we have to make things non-discriminatory. <laughs> make it a safe place for women to be employed. What are the men just going to keep all the jobs for like 10 years until they retire with a fat pension? Is like that what Debbie's doing it for is a purse pension and that's invested in some really bad investments they need to divest from? Like it's an unethical pension, the Oregon purse. And then you're just going to rely on just like intimidating your victim with lawyers like Chris Palmer. Year of the Rat, Sagittarius. I think Snake eats rat. Rat is scared. And I'm just like, fear is not a good look, Palmer. Why are you going with fear? Don't don't go with fear. Fear is weak. Just show your ass up to court. Don't be so shy. <laughs>